Okay, um, I'm now standing in front of the work by Ruth Miller. Um, Ruth is a um, fascinating, fascinating uh, artist. Um, who I fell in love with the first time I met, as I did actually with Miriam and Pinky too. But um, Ruth it lives in Pinky, in Mississippi. Um, she has been embroidering all her life since she was a little girl. Um, she grew up in New York um, and through a variety of, as she says, life experiences, now lives in Pinky, uh, Mississippi. Oh, she went to school and she studied um, drawing and color theory, um, but the work itself is more mature work, and most of this work has been done in the last many years, I'd say in the last 10 years. What she does is she has a thought or an idea or a feeling um, that she wants to convey, and then she kind of looks for a face. Um, that represents whatever that thought or feeling or idea is. Um, and she just gravitated to the portrait as her expression. Um, and when you look at all of these, you can definitely tell that. Um, they are truly amazing. Um, so the work um, here, as I said, that she uh, uses portraiture basically as her way of expressing thoughts and feelings and ideas that she has um, and she kind of searches out people now some of them like this one is her brother um, others are people that she has just met like at a hair salon <laughs> that she thought had an amazing expressive and beautiful face and she, this woman definitely does have all of those things um, and you can just see the glow from the way she has used the, the threads. These are embroidered works, and if you look at them, and I'm sure through the lens and in a video, they're going to look like paintings. Um, but they are embroidery. This is all done with thread. Sometimes she goes a little more minimalist and does not fill in the full space. She has other pieces that she has actually, with one piece that's an abstract piece, um, that as she said she did more as a study um, of line and color. Uh, and um, I think that's a fascinating piece also, but you will see most all of them are portraits of people. Okay, so this piece, Our Lady, I'm hoping will show well in the video um, that it's not a painting, because I think so often when people come in and they first look at it, they just make an immediate assumption that they're paintings. But when you look at it really close, you can see that these are just meticulous threads over and over and over. Um, she is incredibly talented at taking kind of basically a line drawing and using the thread as um, the colored pencil or as the paintbrush. Um, and it's, it's just really, truly miraculous what she can do here. Um, and on this particular piece, which is titled Our Lady, or that's the short um, kind of abbreviated title is Our Lady. Um, and then you have these kind of African motif patterns around her, which if I'm getting part of the story correct, Ruth said she had met this um, woman at the hairdresser and um, just immediately kind of was gravitated towards her, thought she was just a fascinating, beautiful woman. Um, I think she said, if I remember correctly, that the, the dress she had on was kind of African fabric and she wanted to kind of convey that whole thought and that idea in this piece and um, I think it's uh, really quite spectacular.